as opposed to the way I was before when I first started editing. Oh my gosh, when I first started editing, it was a nightmare. I tried to edit out every little screw up. What is up my wonderful little pups and welcome to another episode of Spastic Social. I'm still doing the vlog every day in April and guess what? We're at the halfway point. So excited. And the question of the day from Amy Schmittauer, the person who came up with this challenge, as well as uh, the person that runs the YouTube channel, Savvy Sexy Social. The question she posed for today is, what have you learned after 15 days of video making? Halfway point. Now, what I've learned about making vlogs, because I already make regular uh, videos for my YouTube channel, but they're like gaming videos. I've learned a lot about vlogging though. I'm getting much better at talking fluidly on the camera instead of being all sh like shriveled up in the corner scared to talk kind of thing. I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it. I have also gotten a lot better at editing itself. I've gotten to the point where I can breeze through editing a video that's like 10 minutes long, edit it down to about 7 minutes, and put in the intro and outro and all that, and be done with it in like 15 minutes. As opposed to the way I was before when I first started editing. Oh my gosh, when I first started editing, it was a nightmare. I tried to edit out every little screw up. I tried to edit every single little thing in there that I didn't like. I was being a perfectionist, really. It wasn't until about day six, I think, that I finally realized that I need to stop wasting so much time on trying to get every video absolutely perfect and just worry about talking. Because like Amy said before, I don't know if you guys could see that, but my lights just flickered. Like Amy has said before in, any, in many of her videos, you've got to talk to the camera like you're talking to another human being because that lets you feel more comfortable, that lets you talk more fluidly instead of panicking every time you want to say something and not knowing exactly how to say it. Just talk like you would talking to your best friend. And that's how I want to think of you guys. I want to think of you guys as my best friends. And I hope you guys can see me as a best friend too. I mean, I know you don't know me, but you can talk to me in the comments, or tweet me even. I will respond, I promise. I like it when you guys talk back with me. I really do. Because it not only lets me know that you're paying attention to what I'm doing and lets me gives me that kind of gratification that my hard work is not going unnoticed and uncared about, but it also just lets me get to know you. I get to enjoy talking to you and learning about you instead of, you know, feeling like... I don't know how to put it. Instead of feeling like I'm almost talking to no one. I mean, I know you're watching because I see the views, but those views don't mean near as much to me as your comments do. I think, I think I've also learned to, you know, shorten my vlogs because I feel like, yeah, 15 minutes was a pretty good segment amount of time, but I feel like people don't like to sit and watch someone else talk like just talk for an extremely long period of time. So I figured instead of 15 minutes for vlogs, it should be like five to 10 minutes because you are, like I said, just watching someone else talk and that can get boring, I'm assuming. Even if you really like me, I could still probably be boring. I know I'm boring sometimes, I admit, but I've tried to be a little less boring and I've tried to add some like interesting edits here and there and some show and tell I will be trying to do that so much harder. Because I, I I went to someone else's vlog the other day, and his vlog was explaining that you should show more of your personal life. Like, look around your room and just find things that have to do with the, t the subject of the day, and just show it off. And I, I think I did that last episode. And I hope you guys really enjoy that kind of stuff. I mean, no one really tells me if they enjoy those things, so I don't know but I am trying to get better about showing you guys more about what I've been doing, what I've been up to, kind of thing. But anyways, guys, if you have, like, if you're part of the SSS Beta group, let me know in the comments if you've made a video about what you've learned in the past 15 days of Beta. And if you are one of my viewers, please talk to me. Comment. I love when you guys talk to me. You can comment here, you can go over to Twitter, if you want and tweet at me. I don't care how you want to talk to me. I even have a Snapchat, guys. I have Snapchat. Send me snaps if you want. 
I'll snap back, I promise. I just don't have anyone else to Snapchat with yet. Nobody likes me enough. But if you enjoyed this episode, give that like button and love a bullet. Bark at each other in the comments. Pull out that subscribe button if you want to keep up with me and all the howling that I do. And please, guys, invite your friends to come howl with us here on the channel because the puppy pack needs to grow and I need your help to do it. Keep humble and hungry, my pups. I'll howl at you next time. I have to let it recharge. How does that just magically happen? It just magically makes first aids. Ooh, night! When did that happen? Everything about the Japanese culture. I love Japanese movies. I love anime. I love manga. Everything that I can think of, really. Like, when I used to watch a lot of documentaries as a kid. One of the documentaries that I watched a long time ago was about the samurai. 